All right. Fellas, I'm going to be brutally honest. It's been one hell of a week. One hell of a five days, bro. Ever since this whole thing with Doc on Monday, and now we got Nick Merckx being banned on Twitch. And we all know why he's being banned. He used derogatory language against the trans people, obviously. Um, you know, this is why... Lesson to be learned, man. If you're going to be on the spotlight, if you're going to be on, like, the YouTube, like I am, if you're going to be on the Twitch, if you're going to be in any, any of those, like, social media outlets, you got to understand, or if you're a movie star, celebrity, musician, athlete, etc., etc., every time you get involved in politics, and when you start having opinions, all it does it hurts you. It doesn't help you. Clearly, it's not helping here for Nick Merck. Clearly, Nicholas, this is not helping you, bro. Uh, sometimes it's better not to have any opinion. If somebody asks you, what do you think about this, think about that, you know, should they compete in sports, this, just say, I have no opinion on Sorry. I can't talk about it here. Ask me maybe privately one day, you know, when we're sitting in a bar or whatever. I, you know what? Don't even say it even privately in the bar because they might be recording that and they might record it and use it against you. Just say, I have no opinion, dude. No comment. That's it. And continue on. Or don't say nothing. You know, because <clears throat> the opinions, all, all it, listen, there's individuals that like to like come in and probe you just to see what your reaction is going to be. Sometimes the best thing to do is just say, yo, listen, man, I have no opinion about that. I'm just here doing games, all right? Ask me about the Fortnite. Other than that, can't help you with that opinion, all right? Um, so anyway, let's read this article because, man, it's been just uh, it's been crazy, man. And the whole thing with Doc, it keeps getting worse. You know, he got demonetized from YouTube. Um, and everybody's just, like, dropping him. You know, he's losing all the sponsors. He's going to, it's going to hurt him financially. It, it, it's going to, it's going to, he's going to feel it for sure. He's going to feel it, you know. Not right now, but he's going to feel it, you know, by the end of October, beginning November, December. He's going to feel it. Um it, where where Doc's gonna go? Some people are saying possibly he might come back to Kick. dot com, uh, but I don't know. He's he, from from what I heard, he was negotiating. He wants fifty million a year, uh, and uh, the owner of the uh, Kick says, "No way, dude. Ten million is the best we can do for you, especially with everything you got going on. Um, Ten mil." It's the best we can do for you, 10 mil a year. Is he going to settle for 10, mil, for 10 mil? I don't know, dude. I would settle for 10 mil a year, you know. Uh, especially the situation you're in, bro. You got bills to pay, you know. Uh, you you, you got to get what you can get. Uh, so, But again, we don't even know if they're going to accept him at kick. And There's other options. There's uh, Rumble, right? Um facebook i don't think so i don't think they will they will accept him there either <clears throat> so he's in uh i don't know man what's gonna happen it's just been such a one hell of a week man one hell of a crazy crazy ass week man it's been just insane man i've never seen it like this and the, 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 this past few days man it's just been a total roller coaster man so anyway let's read this the whole thing about nick merck so Nick Merck has been banned from Twitch. While the reasons wasn't shared by Twitch, Nick Merck has confirmed it was because he used a transfer, uh, transphobic slur on stream, which is documented. He did. He's he spoke about it openly. I mean, it's like he got he got caught 
openly about it speaking. I mean, there's you can watch the live stream. You can see the videos, and he talks about it. Uh, and he says, I, I stand by my statement. And look, everyone has a right to, to their opinion. This is America. This is democracy. You, you know, here's, here's what I want to say. Yes, I have a right to my opinion. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get arrested. He's not going to get arrested. Uh, he's not breaking any laws by having an opinion about certain, you know, uh, subjects. Uh, but the problem is it will hurt you uh, for your business because you're in the spotlight and this is how you make money right Let, let's be honest we're, we're sitting here in front of the cameras because this is how we make money right uh we're in a spotlight and companies like twitch google and other companies um they have to go by their policy what their policy is right and if you go against that policy if you say something uh, that's against their policy, they have a right to, to drop you, to, to kick you out. Just like they do with the doctor disrespect, you know. Uh, they can't associate themselves with with whatever he did back in 2017, right? So, um, as far as Nick Merck, my advice to Nick would be, yo, just uh, stay out of politics, man. You know, just keep doing what you're doing, man. Just keep doing your thing, okay? But, you get involved in politics, man. It's gonna it's gonna hurt your pockets. You know, it's it's not something you want to talk about, especially when you when it, when it pays the bills, right? Where you, where you're making your money, where your businesses are, where your merchandise is, right? You know, you don't want that to to affect your um, your business. Like I said. This is America, a free country. You can have your opinions. You're not gonna get be. You're not gonna be arrested. You're not breaking any laws by having your opinion. It's called freedom of speech. However, but there are consequences with that too. When it comes to business, certain partners, partnerships, uh, they will not associate with you because of these opinions. It has nothing to do with whether or not people agree or disagree with you. It has to do with stay out of politics, man. Stay out of, po stay out of politics. It's, it's the best advice I can give to any of um, streamers out there, YouTubers. Stay out of politics, man. Okay? Uh, as soon as you start mentioning politics, controversial issues, that's where you get demonetized. That's where you get dropped. That's where you lose partners. Uh, it's just not worth it, man. It's just not worth it. And, um, but my God, it's been a very uh, crazy, crazy, crazy week. Uh, so there's Nick Merck over here, banned for using the word. Uh, I'm not going to say it here, but you can read it on Twitch. Apparently, that's a derogatory term. That's on me. Next time, I'll use mental health disorder. That didn't help you either, you know. It's kind of funny, uh, Nick. The way you talked about Doc, the way you talked about Dr. Disrespect and his uh, statement that he made regarding the whole thing that happened to him in 2017 where he admitted, right? But you said that he's defending you know what he did in 2017 and there's no excuse for that but here you are you're also defending what you're saying here next time i'll use the mental health disorder i mean the hypocrisy comes both ways nick and i already talked about this uh on my on my previous video you know hypocrisy goes both ways you know so See, this right here is not helping you, you know. The best thing you just say, just look, same thing with Doc. What he should have done, just say, yeah, this happened. I'll try to be a better person. I'm a better person. I learned from it from 2017. I am a better person. It's been a long time. Uh, and I think I've proven that I'm a better person. Uh, hopefully you guys can forgive me. 
I, I ask for I ask for your forgiveness, right? Um, you have to sometimes, dude. When you when you're put in a corner, you you can't fight against the entire an entire world. You know, um, public opinion matters. Eight billion people, public opinion matters. Especially when you are in a public eye, you got to remember. You have to remember that. You know, uh, this is why, you know, the best thing to do is just, you know, admit, yeah, what I did was wrong. Uh, and I apologize to all, everybody in, uh, you know, uh, LGBTQ trans uh, community. I apologize, etc., etc. Make a formal apology. Hope I can get your forgiveness. Uh, you know, but when you, you know, that that was another issue with a doc statement. It's just like, you know, for those of you who hate me, da 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 da, you know. F off, right? You know. Yeah. Like I said, you know, when you get caught, you get caught. It is what it is. All, all you can do is you can go back on defense because you got caught. It is something even I learned. When you get caught, that's it. There's no point of going back to defense. You got caught. All you can do is just ask for forgiveness. Like, hey, I know I, I messed up. I know I screwed up. And just asking for forgiveness. Um, so, you know, because you're not going to change people's minds. Because they're going to think, oh, you're defending your then it turns into some kind of narcissism, right? I'm right. I stick to by what I believe in, you know, and all that. But uh, all I'm going to say is this. Uh, it's been a hell of a week. Um, man, it's crazy. It's just been crazy. And, uh, yo, uh, the, the YouTube, the social media, the gaming world, it's, dude, there's so much going on right now, man. And, and, the amount of stuff that has been developing in the past few days, dude, it's just been crazy. I can't even keep up, man. It's just been totally insane. And uh, it keeps uh, keeps getting worse, man. You know? First Doc, now Nick. Uh, this is definitely going to affect him as well. You know, first starts with Twitch and then... Then YouTube's gonna say, "Well, we don't like the way you talk about, you know, it's 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 goes against our policy." And other sponsors will say, "You know, hey, it goes against our policy." Fortnite, etc. You know, Apex, uh, EA. You know, look, this is why, man. People gotta remember when you are on the spotlight, man. You being watched constantly. There's something that 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 um, influencers, internet, YouTuber, Twitch, social media influencers need to remember this very important fact. And this is coming from a small YouTuber channel. You are being looked at from a micro dude under the micro, mi microscope, 24/7, 365 days a year. You being looked at through a micro microscope. Everything that you do, everything that you say, it's being recorded. It's being analyzed. It's being talked about on the discords and Reddit and all the other outlets out there on the uh, different websites. So, you know, people got to remember, you got to be careful. Once you turn on that camera, once you start going live, when you start recording those videos, you really have to be careful what you say. You really have to be careful how you conduct yourself because you're in the public eye, man. And uh, this this is the, the lesson that needs to be learned. Sometimes you have to put away all your opinions and feelings, put it somewhere, lock it away, and only focus on why you're here. You're here to, to entertain, to play some video games, and make money. There, I just said it. To entertain, play some video games, and get paid. That's it. That's it. And your seven, eight hours, whatever, how long you do it, and then, you know, that. and then in your private life, you can have your opinions. But even in your private life, because you're in a, in a public public eye, still you got to be careful whom you say, what you say, because the person will 
say that that it's something they will use that that you said and will say that that you said and will use that against you that's what they do hook line and sinker oh i got you you said this this and that to me at the barbecue or at the at the sports bar well and i'm gonna take that and put it out there and tell everybody what you just said to me so um keep your opinions to yourself guys that's the lesson to be learned here that's my advice to nick Merckx. keep your opinions to yourself stay out of politics man stay out of all these hot issues um uh, it's just not worth it i have learned that lesson with my podcast you know you know hot issues and politics and things like that man it just really it do you no good man it do you no good you know so all right well there you have it guys it's crazy it's been one hell of a one hell of a week man one hell of a five days bro Whew, we made it till friday right we made it man it's friday one day at a time man one day at a time this is crazy this is just crazy man.